Kim Chi, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Zhong Gu Zhang. Now what this combination does for hair growth and hair revitalization is nothing short of amazing. So let's bring our attention right off this chart right here. Now the interesting part about it is look at the small part of the chart where people have received no results after a month to four months. But look at all the people that received positive results. And of course, a little graphic, look at the picture as far as the thickness of the hair and the more hair follicles growing as well on the scalp. This combination between kimchi and shangguzhang is just nothing short of amazing. Now keep in mind, this is not being applied to the scalp. This is being orally consumed and statistically significant benefits began to be observed literally after four weeks. Now, let's get right into the study as follows. The head of the, the title of the study is Do Kimchi and Chunkujong, please forgive me if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly or not, probiotics as a functional food improve androgenetic alopecia, clinical pilot study. All right, now a little bit of a backstory. Way I've discovered this research, ironically, from 2019 is this research here, which was nutritional and microbial strategies for treating acne, alopecia, and atopic dermatitis. And as we began to follow the references, which is a good thing to do, I saw reference 130. Now, if you look at reference 130, you see reversal of hair loss. All right, that has my attention. And that leads us to this study. Do kimchi and shongguzhong Probiotics of functional food improve androgenetic alopecia. And boy, do they do. Now, keep in mind also, as caveat, this is not uh, chongguzhang soup. This is basically probiotics. So they described it more like a yogurt, per se. But let us proceed. The methods. All patients were administered 80 milliliters. That's about 2.7 ounces. Uh, I think it's 29 point something milliliters in an ounce. Uh, of mogut, mogut, uh, mogut, mogut, was a kimchi and chongguzhang uh, combination, which led to this probiotic uh, masterpiece. To proceed, twice a day, hair growth and numbers were measured using a triple score system. At baseline, and after one in four months administration, consumption of kimchi and chongguzhang probiotic product. Results. This is what we're waiting for. Hair count and thickness had significantly increased at one month and at four months. In this study, quoting, we found that a kimchi and chongguzhang probiotic product could promote hair growth and reverse hair loss without associated adverse effect. The author showed that basically da, 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 inhibited activity of 5-alpha reductase, just some of the highlights. An enzyme produced in the prostate, adrenal glands, and scalp, which metabolizes the male hormone. This is probably why a little different results between male and female. Uh, hormone testosterone and dehydrotestosterone, resulting in an improvement of alopecia in men. Thus, in that study, quoting, we concluded that the difference in the pattern of improvement, some people received more hair, some people's hair became thicker, so on and so forth, but generally most everybody except for a small slither, sl slither, sliver, uh, received positive improvement. Thus, in the study, we concluded that the difference in pattern improvement observed between men and women was secondary to the difference in its effect on the five alpha reductase present in the scalp. Another highlight, Shongguzhong is known as a thrombolytic enzyme, is known as a source of thrombolytic enzymes. Studied at the characterization of the, of the fibrin fibrinolytic enzyme from Bacillus subtilis, that was isolated from Shangguzhong. This thrombolytic enzyme could increase the peripheral blood flow, including to the scalp, and increase the amount of nutrition provided to the hair follicles. So there you have a 5-alpha reductase effect and a thrombolytic effect between the combination of these two powerful probiotic um, powerhouses or masterpieces. And they're the highlight, which is important because I guess you can make soup, and please forgive my ignorance on this, from Shangguzhang. I guess it's very common. I think it may even be alluded to as dead body soup or something like that, but they didn't want to cook it. They just wanted the fermented from the soybean paste that was used as well as the kimchi. So I perceive. 
the, and this is why it's difficult to basically nail down exactly what amount in combination, so on and so forth, to produce possibly a capsule of the product. First, the amount of probiotics varies depending on the ripening period of the kimchi. As different ripening periods lead to differences in pH that can affect personal appetite. Koreans consume zhongkajong as a boiled hot soup, so it contains no low live probiotics. Thus, administration of live probiotics from kimchi in zhongkajong as a drinkable yogurt would be a more efficient way to obtain the beneficial effects of kimchi in zhongkajong. Gosh, I hope I'm pronouncing that at least close. All right, real fast. This chart right here gives you a little more detail into the positive effects of this probiotic powerhouse. Uh, take a second to look at it. And of course, the one that we opened with right here, now you may understand a little bit more. You see the differences between men and women, but you see how most everyone received benefit. Pretty amazing. All right, to conclude, quote, we suggest that the observed improvements in hair count and thickness resulted from the initiation of the antigen phase in hair follicles in response to the probiotics. That is just simply astounding and amazing. Again, we're not looking at the application of anything on the scalp. We're looking just the simple consumption of about 2.7 ounces twice per day of kimchi and Changguzhang, again, pronunciation, uh, that led to this incredible uh, antithrombolytic 5 alpha reductase powerful tool in reference to helping hair grow thicker and more, basically. Again, gratitude to the researchers. I am humbled you watch and look forward to seeing what you and I discover next week. It's kind of interesting because. The age of pasteurization is kind of taking a, a second seat to the new age or the rediscovery of fermentation. And fermentation, powerful, powerful tool overall as we rediscover our roots, no pun intended. Again, gratitude, thank you. I look forward to what you and I both discover next week. If anybody has any uh, links to Mogut, which they was originally the uh, the tool to utilize with the kimchi and chungujang combination, please link below. All right, catch y'all next time. Bye.